Hi everyone, in today's quick tip video I'm going to show you how to make these cute little gift bags. Now the finished size of this is 5 by 1 by 1 and 3 quarters. So 5 by 1 by 1 and 3 quarters. And the two that you can see here have been made using the gingerbread and peppermint suite of products which if you don't know what they are this is the frosted gingerbread stamps and the gingerbread dies but for today's video I'm going to be making the project using whimsical trees and the accompanying designer series paper which is whimsy and wonder and this is just beautiful paper this the colors are mint macaron polish pink magenta madness uh, misty moonlight and iridescent there's some beautiful patterns but I'm going to be using the one with the presents and what you need for this is a piece of paper that is six by six so you could get four of these from one sheet of 12 by 12 so that's you know makes it go quite a long way and if you can hear any noise in the background I've got the door open because my puppy my new puppy is running around frantic so if your paper has got a direction you want to start with it in the right orientation so I'm going to turn the bottom so it's in the left hand side of my simply scoreboard and I'm going to score this at one inch then I'm going to rotate it back so this is the bottom and this is the top and I'm going to score it at one inch two and three quarters, three and three quarters, and five and a half. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to bring in my bone folder and start to burnish on all these score lines. So that's the one inch at the bottom. And these are now the vertical. lines so with the skinny section over on the right hand side you're going to cut away this bottom corner rectangle and it's not easy to see at all with this paper but I'm just going to cut up to that one inch score line cut that off and then I'm just going to angle cut because this is going to be called the glue tab Okay, I'm going to bring in my silicone mat, but before I do, I forgot I need to cut these. So now you're going to cut these score lines here that are along the bottom up to that one inch score line. I'm just going to turn it over just to see if it makes it a little bit easier for me to see on camera. And then I'm just going to fold the two rectangles out of the way and on the two square pieces I'm just going to mitre a, a section out. This is just to help the box go together a little bit easier. Now I'm going to apply some glue on this glue tab here. I'm going to use Stampin' Seal Plus for this because it's a really strong dry adhesive and just gone over the edge a little bit so I'm just going to fold it back on itself so that there's no bits of glue peeking out and the puppy is now chewing the wheel on my chair so I'm going to fold this over and this should all line up together now nicely so that's the back of the box where the seam is, okay? So I'm going to fold in the two flaps that I mitered, fold in this and then fold that over so that it's got a nice clean look because this is the back. So I'm just going to open this out and get everything out of the way and put some glue on here ready. So fold in the flaps, fold over 
just get it all nice and square and that's Eddie that's the box essentially so you can pinch it in at the sides now you can either fold this over or what I did is got my cropper dial and using the biggest hole on my cropper dial I'm just going to punch a hole all the way through now I've got some of our glitter organdy ribbon all these products are available in my online stamping up shop and I'm going to feed this through the hole and then feed this one back through the hole if I can get it through. This is what I did last time but the ribbon was thinner. I think I can make it work. Here you go. So I've gone through the front to the back, wrapped the ribbon under and then gone from back to front and now I can tie this in a bow. And that will keep it all just trim the tails of the ribbon and then just to decorate I have cut a stitched circle polished pink and a stitched circle in basic white because polished pink is one of the colors in the paper I'm just going to layer these up and then I have stamped and die cut a couple of the trees using mint macaron and polished pink. And these are just going to layer up on here just to add a little bit of interest. I'm going to stick one flat like so and pop one up on dimensionals. Pop that like so. And then this can go on the front of my box. So I'll stick it flat and I'll use stamping seal. So that's today's simple quick project all made from one sheet of 6x6 designer series paper. As I say, if you use the whimsy and wonder paper which is 12 by 12 you'll get four of these from one sheet of paper so i hope you like that project please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you